What if I told you there is a character in Unicorn Overlord with the ability to reduce all physical damage they take by 50%? Well, here he is. Lex is often written off as a niche character, only good for protecting vulnerable characters from ranged attacks due to his arrow cover skill. But I've found that even on expert mode, he can actually do extremely well as a frontline tank if you just give him a little support. For the early game, we're really going to lean into that s rank guard stat and give him items that raise his guard rate. Nobody uses Joseph, so you can feel free to take those dusty Templar weapons off of him and give him the Lex. Both items give you a little more guard rate and physical defense than the beginner weapons Lex comes with. The next item you want to throw on him are the Gauntlets. They raise his guard rate by another 20%. And as you can see here, even at level 5, his guard rate is a solid 61%. What this means is that more than half of the physical attacks that come Lex's way are going to do 50% reduced damage. Along with that, the Templar's shield provides a 20% HP recovery boost, making it easier to keep his health topped off. As you can see with this, he is quite effective at guarding attacks and capable of frontlining multiple rounds of combat. For mid-game, the idea is mostly the same. You'll want to promote Lex to Vanguard to get him an extra item slot. If you go to Drakenhold before Elheim, I recommend picking up the Knight's Medallion from Sectreve Town to get Lex another 10% guard rate. Most of the standard shields come with a 20% guard rate, which means Lex will be usually sitting at around a 78% guard rate. To take this step further, you'll want to recruit Renault because he comes with one of the best shields in the game, the White Rider Shield. It has stun immunity, guard seal immunity, and to top it off, it comes with a 25% guard rate. This pushes Lex to a big 83%. Now if you wanted to get really crazy, you could give Lex a do of parrying to put him at an 88% guard rate. Honestly, once I got to this point, there weren't really many times I didn't see Lex guard an attack, but we're not done yet. For the final portion of this build, we want Lex to be at least level 25 because that's when he unlocks his final skill, Provoke. What Provoke does is forces an entire row of enemies to focus their attacks on the user. Along with that, it grants the user an insane 50% guard rate. This is really good because we can remove all of the items focusing on improving his guard rate and replace them with items that turn Lex into a machine. With my build so far, I've given Lex a Dragon Bone Blade, the White Rider Shield, a Carnelian Pendant, and a pair of Citadel Guard Sabatons. How this all works is Lex will start off the battle with Provoke to protect the team's damage dealer. I have Provoke set up twice in my battle tactics. In the first use case, Lex will only target archers. If there are no archers, he will instead go for whichever row has the most enemies. With his guard rate at 100% and the enemies focusing on him, I then have him use Defender to generate passive points and raise his defenses. But that's not even the best part. You see, those boots we slipped on him earlier gives him the ability Guarding Impetus. How this ability works is whenever the equipped person guards an attack, they generate 1 AP. And since Lex's guard rate is 100%, that means this ability will always activate as long as Lex has PP to spare. As for weaknesses, if you see a wear owl, just turn the other way. They can dispel Lex's guard rate bonus, which is bad news. If you do come across one, you can always use this alternate build I have that puts his guard rate at 100% with just items. The Hollow Blade is good because it can help him recover from chip damage without having to compromise his defense boost from Warding Slash or Defender. The only other units you have to be careful of are Warriors for obvious reasons. Otherwise, literally nothing else can cut through. Even Cavalry can have a hard time thanks to the Cavalry Hunter's Buckler, which reminds me of one last thing I want to mention. Don't be afraid to change the equipment around before battle. For instance, if there's a bunch of flying enemies, then switch Lex's shield to the Angel Hunter's Buckler and you'll be amazed how differently things might play out. If you came into this thinking the fighter is trash, hopefully this guide has changed your mind. Well, that's all for today. Later!